Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do, um, I'm, I have some Happy Mail um, and haul videos to do. So this first one, or this next one, is um, I just wanted to share a card that Tamika, who is Scrap the World here on Instagram and YouTube, she uh, sent me a card. And I should have shared this in my other video when I was talking, um, having a little chit chat with you, but... These are just one of the cards from my uh, friends that I have met um, over the years. And um, she just sent me a card. Look how beautiful this card is. I have my card just to tell me that she is thinking of me and sending me some positive vibes and um, just checking up on me. So thank you, girl. I really appreciate you and always checking up on me and... Um, that means a lot to me so thank you so much Tamika and so this is her beautiful handmade card with all of these netting flowers butterfly it's popped up this really beautiful rose gold um, backing and this um, background paper is really nice I'm not sure if you painted it or it feels like you've textured it and did some mixed media on it so thank you this is going to go in my box of handmade cards that i got from um, many of my friends over the years okay so and then the next um happy mail i got is from uh, kathleen and she sent me a belated christmas and an early birthday <laughs> so thank you kathleen um she also made a beautiful card so these colors are beautiful. It's green and this really dark, um, kind of a burgundy magenta kind of, and she inside here. So it's embossed, so beautiful. And I think you colored this and fussy cut it out. So thank you so much. And she wrote me a note. And so um, I've already, uh, we've been communicating. So she knows that I got her package. I'm sorry it took so long for me to show it. Actually, um, I guess the post office sometimes they're on it sometimes they're not so I know she sent this early in February um, I recently got it so thank you Kathleen and I wanted to come here and share I didn't open it up so this is like a belated Christmas and an early birthday so it came in this kind of Xerox paper box and I'm just gonna take it out little by little because oh in the teapot Okay, so I think this might be in something. Let me see. Let me just keep going. Okay, I have it really packed nicely. And I am I was dying to get in it. But the only time I can video right now is on the weekends. If I'm kind of lucky, my father's taking a nap now. So I figure I can um, come on here and do some opening. Sorry, folks. Maybe I should have opened this ahead of time. Oh, these are beautiful, Kathleen. Oh, so you made me. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's kind of glass. So I'm glad it didn't crack. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. What is this called? It's like a, a dome, a cloche. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. But there is a, a lightable. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that so pretty thank you kathleen i'm going to save this for um during christmas and the winter and i am going to display it on my table thank you look at that is that a tim holtz um die that you put together i recently bought the two tim holtz houses i think it's called houses but um i have yet to tackle it so Thank you so much. So it's kind of a 3D thing. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that glitter on the paper. Thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate it and love it so much. It's those handmade things that um, are very valuable to me. Okay, so here's another gift. Let me cut this one open. This is pretty paper. It's kind of a shiny foil paper. Oh, wow so this is oops. so it's some kind of uh, cup 
So it's a 3D cup, and look at that. She had stitched on all the panels. Beautiful. Look, even on the handle, I love this gold thread, Kathleen. So pretty. Okay, so I'm not sure if this was just padding. I think this was padding for the um, cup, the handle. And she has each little... Oh my goodness, Kathleen. Look at that. She gifted me some seed bead strands from the bead gallery. And these are beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh girl, look at that. That's another one. I love it. So it's glass beads. I'm not sure, Kathleen, we're, my memory is really bad. You know, with everything going on in my life, I can't even remember anymore. But I had made some CB tassels. And I think it was for you, Kathleen, that I had made them for. I, I, I think. I'm not sure now. Beautiful. So I'm going to add this all to my bead collection. One of these days when I get myself organized, um, I did move. Oh, these are really pretty. I love this. So when I get organized, I'll try to do some, some people have asked me to, you know, I've been sh kind of showing some of my friends things that I'm doing, but um, I'll come on and do some little snippets of uh, my craft room once I get it all settled. This is beautiful. Look at that gorgeous. I don't even know if the camera picks it up. Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Kathleen. So that was in the um cup okay so this says for in the teapot so i better wait for that i didn't don't think i have the teapot yet oh when i do see the teapot in my box okay look there's a cover make sure that see should i put a lot of bubble wrap so that's probably what saved that glass uh, ornament thing that you made me and also protected all the other things in this box. So I'll put this box on the side. Look at this teapot. So I think, oh my gosh, Kathleen, this is beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? So there is um, flowers on each panel. And she sewed each panel. Can you see the stitching in gold? Oh, the zigzag and the um, she even uh, stitched the teapot nozzle, the spout. And on each panel, there is a flower spray here. This is just beautiful, just beautiful. And here's the bottom. Thank you so much. Oh, I think this stays on. Maybe it's just, it feels sticky. So I should leave that on. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh. I love yarn. These are good because my husband said if he, I buy another skein of yarn. <laughs> And I'm not even using them. And it's, I, I swear, I just filled up maybe um 18 of those cubies, cubbies with yarn. And I don't have room. But these are good. These are really tiny. Oh, these are so nice. So they're cotton made in Turkey. Oh, I love it. I love it. Because I have some patterns that I wanted to make. And they call for more of the uh, skinnier yarn. So thank you. Oh, so beautiful. And I think there's something that I was looking for when Anna from creating, uh, um, oh gosh, my memory, Serenity Creations. I think she posted one time something to do with these cotton and I don't have any of the um, Hobby Lobbies, Michael's Joann's. I don't have none of that. Dollar Tree. I don't have none of that here in Hawaii. So um, thank you so much. And for me to find them on Etsy or maybe um, in another type of uh, source it's really hard to find oh my gosh girl you hooked me up with oh this is pretty with every single color wow I like it 
Thank you so much. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Kathleen. You bought me every color that was available. Purple. Oh, so the colors are on the back. So pretty. Okay, there's one more tucked in here. Blue gray. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Look at that. Okay, so this has to be something that belongs in the teapot. So it looks like some kind of jewelry making product. Oh, oh, oh. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so she put she put this box to tell me what it was, and this is what it was what it is what's in there so she bought me some bead and stretch clear oh so perfect so this is for the um stringing up my um sea beads oh thank you so much perfect perfect look at this big roll that she gave me thank you so much i would definitely can use that okay so when you put the teapot cover on you get this so pretty oh thank you so much kathleen i will link her channel below i'll also link tamika um these two wonderful ladies are awesome crafters but thank you kathleen for oh this is pretty really really pretty so i have to find a space for this in my craft room uh i kind of had to spread out in two rooms i have a my craft room which has all my paper crafts and my stamps and dies and my paper and things like that my beads but um my room is much smaller than my old house so um my husband and i are supposed to have an office space a, a separate bedroom that we converted to an office but um he graciously gave up his spot his uh, half for my sewing yarn <laughs> Um, so I have another spot in there and so I'm trying to display some things up there too and I have one more closet in another room that's for all my seasonal stuff but anyways thank you so much Kathleen love it I am definitely going to find some place for it I'm not going to put the yarn back in because I'll probably forget about it but uh, that's okay because I'm just going to admire its beauty so one more time you can look at it Thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank you, everyone, for coming back to my channel. And I will see you really soon again. Bye.